Grabe! Ang sakit-sakit na talaga guys ng ulo ko about this year's Miss Universe Philippines and dumagdag pa itong si Stacy Gabriel sa listahan natin. So grabe dad na talaga. Hindi ko na kaya. Sirang-sara na talaga ang bait ko guys. Wala na bang next year at lahat ng mga Diyosa nagsabay-sabay sumali this year sa MUPH? Grabe! Ang sakit-sakit na talaga ng ulo ko. Ayoko na talaga guys. Ayoko na. Pero seriously, I am not surprised that Stacey is throwing her hat in the pageant ring again because she has been very vocal about her desire to compete in Miss Universe Philippines since she played second runner-up in Binibining Filipinas two years ago. So all I can utter to myself when she finally showed up on her sashing ceremony the other day, yes girl, yes! Bring it on! And to be honest, guys, she is really killing it! Kita nyo naman, ramdam na ramdam ko talaga yung gigil niya to be the next Miss Universe Philippines. As in, guys, the moment that she came in, this beautiful black patty and co-awards outfit, we were just truly stunned. She, na, she really looked every inch a Latina slayer in her look styled by her fashion stylist, Curator Studio, as she greeted us pageant media, eagerly waiting for her arrival. And so, nung pumasok siya, napansin nyo, her energy is just so contagious and her aura screams Latina. And with this ferocious styling that she sported yesterday, ngayon ko lang na-realize na may hawig pala siya kay Maria Angela Ruiz from Venezuela and Priscilla Mireles from Brazil. And I'm not surprised as she has Spanish blood pala which apparently she got from her dad. Because for the longest time kasi guys, Stacy has struck me as someone who is very sweet. Probably helped by her styling she had during her previous competition. But the other day, she finally unleashed her Sasha fears for this year's competition. And I saw something new for a change. Now she was sassy playful and smoking hot in her outfit and aura yesterday and bumabagay talaga sa kanya and as she finally sat on her seat to finally field questions from us pageant media all the more that we were just stunned by how eloquent she was with her answers she is a talker talaga she is really a storyteller she loves to speak and we always have a field day listening to her brilliance and eloquence in answering her questions based from her life experiences. Nang mumukbang talaga ng microphone, ng microphone talaga, and I think by now, nobody would dare question her prowess when it comes to Q&A because it is clearly her strength. Hindi lang siya guys basta sumasagot, but she makes sure that each answer that she utters comes from her life experiences and a facet of her personality, like as if you are listening to a motivational speaker or life coach. Now, you will easily be captivated not just by the gift of gab that and rich vocabulary that she has, but by her enthusiasm and authenticity at the same time. Whether through her voice, body movements, or her pacing in the way she answers her questions, she is just contagious and excited to share more information about herself. And it's always rubbing off onto us, her audience. Now, there is no shame in focusing on being herself and telling stories that are honest and vulnerable. Hence, she easily relates to us. So, hearing her talk is really a gift itself. You are bound to learn something from her in one way or another. But you know what, guys? It isn't her brilliance or eloquence in Q&A that really astounds me. But it's both her intention and self-awareness in her candidacy that's impressing me the most. Yup, these words really sum up how I perfectly describe Stacy's game plan at the moment. She is very intentional and self-aware. So let me share why I am summing her up in these two words. First, intentional. She is acting with intention in her current Miss Universe Philippines journey. No matter how the competition is fast shaping up to be a bardagul and fest among all these jaws as soon, Stacy doesn't just go with the flow. Her professional growth demands acting with intention, purposefully and consciously making choices that align with her goals of winning Miss Universe Philippines. And so she doesn't play coy with us in the pageant media that she wants to join Miss Universe Philippines next because she wants it so bad. So in this aspect alone, she easily communicates her vision and inspires us to join her in her next pageant journey. And for a member of the pageant media, I like that. So totoo lang guys, because we get to track her progress along the way and our awareness of her growth 
only fuels her motivation in moving forward and achieving her goal with a sense of joy and enthusiasm. Na parang ang sarap-sarap sa baybayan ng journey ni Stacy with this renewed enthusiasm just by being intentional of her goal. So a clear example of this is her black structured cords outfit by Patty Ang. Kasi guys, if you check out the design of this dress with puff strings, there is a huge emphasis on her waist, diba? And the length of her skirt, which gave an illusion that she is tall, which she coupled with a heavy makeup. She and her stylist curator studio were very intentional about this by showcasing her in a structured outfit to give that towering look, to signal that she was ready for the bardagulan ahead. Even if I feel she could have employed a soft makeup and a low ponytail to balance this eye-popping sexy dress. Nagets nyo? Nevertheless, I am still impressed as with her as her stylist has used this occasion to experiment on her looks as early as now. So ito lang guys, this wet look hairstyle could have been used for her swimsuit glam or in a different event. In, in this pageant soon. So, as you can see, she really wanted to start with the bang right away. And I get that. She's very res resolute with her goal and wants her message conveyed that she is really in it to win it as early as now. So, as a result of her being, in an, being intentional in her desire to become our next Miss Universe Philippines, she now becomes more self-aware of the things that she has to improve in order to achieve this goal. Napansin niyo, guys, throughout the entire Q&A, she kind of jumped the gun on everybody else by sharing that the things that she still has to improve in some aspects of her candidacy. Whether it's about her styling, outfits, or catwalk skills, she revealed in her sashing ceremony that she is self-aware of what silhouettes, styling game plan that she will need to employ to camouflage her height deficiency and she is doing this because she knows a lot of pageant fans are making her height a big issue or hurdle in winning Miss Universe Philippines right now despite the fact that despite the fact that the Miss Universe organization has already removed the height requirement rule recently notwithstanding the fact then that there have been Many Miss Universe title holders in the past with the same height as Stacy in recent memory. So, for me, guys, her height is really a non-issue, even if the pageant will be held in Mexico later this year. Remember, there was Olivia Copo back in Trump, back during the Trump era. There was Demi Lanell Peters during the IMG era, and so Stacy could use these two past title holders as an inspiration for her candidacy at the moment. And guys, sa so totoo lang, kung Mexico lang din naman ang, ang pag-uusapan, hindi rin nang papatalo ng buhay si Stacy, di ba? Because she can converse in Spanish with her lineage, with her dad's, because of her dad's side. And it's something na hindi natin masyadong napag-uusapan because we keep focusing on her height limitation. So, I'd rather that we focus on what Stacy has to offer and what Stacy doesn't have. Right? And all this self-awareness makes me definitely say Stacy knows talaga what she is getting into in terms of getting a better understanding of her strengths and weaknesses towards her goal. Kasi naman guys, diba, we all know that she is a great speaker. But in order for her to get to top 5 where she can showcase to us her biggest strength, she needs to wow us with her styling and catwalk before we are going to see her in Binibi, in top five. Because if we are going to use her previous Binibining Pilipinas performance as a basis, she really has to wow us in both of these rounds. Hence, I get why she is tapping Ian Lawrence to help her with her catwalk training. Kasi she really has to appear commanding on stage when it comes to her catwalk. Especially if she will be standing next to great pasarela walkers like Christy McGarry or Atisa Manalo during the finals night. Now she really needs to hurdle this so that she could reach the segment of the competition where she is good at, which is the Q&A. And luckily, she already got an evening gown designer to help her with this. Diba? If ever she gets a Q&A naman, I hope she will be mindful of the time limit given to her because as much as we appreciate her Q&A skills, she has to be mindful pa rin of it as she tends to 
over-expound on things to deliver her main point. For example, again, during her Binibining Pilipinas Q&A, technically, hindi niya natapos sagutin yung tanong sa kanya because she wasn't able to expound what Amarites means due to the time constraint, ba? Diba? So looking ahead, guys, I am really optimistic about Stacy's chances in her goal to become our next Miss Universe Philippines because all of, because of all of these two qualities that she has right now, all these improvements talaga that she has to work on, all these sa totoo lang are just minor and can be easily fixed. Right now, she is in everyone's top five, and I like how she is registering among the fans right now. So I'd rather that we keep underestimating her chances at the moment and make her look like an underdog right now. So she will surprise us very soon. Yup, I am really seeing her as an underdog right now, guys. Because she has the look, the beauty, the personality, and most importantly, the right attitude in winning. And I really like her so much. And for someone who has overcome anxiety and depression, she has nerves of steel. She has a huge, huge fighting spirit. She is really fearless. And I wouldn't mind seeing her win the title this year.